All right, guys. So we have got Debinia. This card actually looks kind of cracked. We're going to check her stats out, and then we're going to test her out in game to see how good she really is. All right, guys. So looking at her stats, I mean, five star, five star with high medium. She's only five foot one, which may be a problem. She might get pushed off very easily, but we'll see. She's got 86 composure, which we love. Decent pace. Pretty good passing. Really good dribbling. We'll see. What it She's got Travella plus and quick step. Technical flair for such trickster. Acrobatic. I don't know how much in-air stuff she's going to be doing at 5 one but Travella plus could be open. This is the team we're trying her in. Let's go. Decent strike. I wanted the Travella, but she didn't do it. Let's see if she can whip in a nice cross. That's a good ball. Oh, that's, that's a good ball, though. That's a good ball. Decent shot to force a uh, force a rebound. Or force corner. And then a good cross in. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. It's good work. Good assist from Debina there. Played a nice ball. Finally, she scores a Travella, man. Her Travellas haven't been great, but we finally get a the right angle on it. I'm still not sold on her shooting animations, though. They're a bit weird. They are a bit weird. Good reception, good shot. We'll take it. Take it. Alright, here we go. She's gonna get the room, she's gonna hit it. Right. Back in though. Let's see what she can do. Yeah, I split a dribble. I don't know what he's doing with Van Dyke, but we take that. We take that. She keeps it tight. Her dribbles are good, man. The shooting, I'm still just not completely sold on. That was a good shot there. Sometimes she's got that weird animation. Sometimes. The lack of physicality and her height also are just like so iffy on it because... It's so easy to push it off. Like there, if he didn't slide and he just tried to body her, he probably would have got the ball. We got the counter attack. Beautiful. Move this keeper. Let's see the cross though. Psych, we're just gonna run it in. Okay, that's a good strike. I haven't tried a finesse shot with her, but that was beautiful. I mean, it was green time, but still, that's a good strike. Wow, okay, didn't expect that. Oh yes, what a run. Hit that Travella. Nice. See, now we're starting to feel her out. We're starting to get the right angles on those Travellas. She made a good good move there in general. Her AI isn't anything special in terms of like her positioning. I haven't seen anything crazy out of that. But her shooting is starting to definitely improve. I'm starting to feel it out. I kind of know how to use it. Way to be. I see him. See, that, like, if you don't get the angle right on the Travella, the shot really isn't anything special. The shot kind of struggles unless it's, like, the perfect setup angle. Where with some players, uh, like, I don't know who else. Somebody else with Travella, you don't need that perfect angle setup. You can still hit a nice Travella. But she needs, like, a very specific angle for hers to hit the far side. Like, there you saw it just went right to the middle. She just 
just want a pen though. See, that's what she's good at. The dribbling is, the dribbling is crisp. I'll give her that. But her passing and her shooting just happens. I'm not sold on her, on her ability in either of those, either of those things. She hasn't played any like dime balls, and her shot, like like I said, you need a very specific angle for it. Okay, that was a good ball. I don't know how I read time that, but we'll take that. That's a good run. No way. He's going on Roma. He's owning me. Good ball. Just no finish. Good ball, just no finish. Oh, what a run. The RB dribbling is so nice. Oh, what a goal. What a goal. This guy's gone. What a goal. All right, so looking at Dubinia, this car comes in at 225K. I just noticed she has an 89. That is only 75K. And if you look at the difference, it's literally just plus one. You look at the play styles. We got one, two, three. We got six over here, plus a plus, and six over here with a plus. So she's got the exact same play styles, except her play style plus is Travella instead of technical, and everything else is just a plus one. And the price is a plus 150k. She's five star, five star on both. So essentially you're paying 150K for a, a 150K untradeable, that is. Because this one you could you would re, you could sell again if you buy. So you're paying 150K extra untradeable for an untradeable for a card that just switched the playstyle plus to Travella plus. Travella plus is good, so it's technical plus though. Let's say they're on like equal level. And plus one to all stats. I mean. They got, I don't know why they don't do like plus two, plus three, plus four. Like it's team of the year, man. Like at least make these cards something special if you're going to be paying a quarter million for them. Or give her two play style pluses. If she had technical plus and Travella plus, then, then it's a different story. But with the low pace, the low shooting, the passing wasn't anything special because she lacks uh, any passing play styles. She's got the pointless ones like Trickster and Acrobatic and Flare. Those are all pointless. Her dribbling was decent. Her strength is really bad at five foot one. I mean, it's an okay card. Like she's really good at dribbling and like the technical. And she's got five star skills. She's got Travella Plus, which can be super usable. Uh, her positioning was okay. Her passing was okay. Her stats look good, but like no play styles. It's just like you gotta look at where all the cards are now. Everybody's got, you know, Bruno and Sawa and and uh, Hullet and like. She's George Best at on the right wing side. She's a right mid slash cam. So it's like she just doesn't do it for me at this price. You know, if she was like 125k, then it's like okay, this is a, a little bump on this card. That's 75k. You get Travella plus instead of technical plus. You get a couple plus stats. But at 225k, I just don't see why you would do this card. It's a bit hard to link. You could link it with Alex Morgan, who I also don't think is worth it. IEA really missed with these toady nominees. They could have done a lot better. They could have done two playstyle pluses with like not the toady level boost, but maybe like a plus two at least. Because like a plus one is just really nothing special. And for 225k, I'd probably stay away from this card. You can if you if you're building a full woman's team and you need the links, like sure, throw your extra fodder into it. But if you're gonna use 225k or the fodder somewhere, there's a lot of better options out right now.